Um, do you have a song? I know I would imagine they're all sort of like your babies, right? But is there one that means the most to you or that resonates the most with you? I mean, yeah, they're definitely all special, you know, and, and they definitely all have their own moments. But I mean, Beautiful Crazy for me, probably, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, at one song of the year, which was probably the number one thing on my bucket list. I mean, besides being a member of the Grand Opry, um, which so I've checked both of those boxes. I wrote that song about my wife before we were even dating. It was the first dance at our wedding. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it was number that one. movie. Yeah. Can you... <laughs> yeah. And so it was, you know, it was number one for seven weeks. And I mean, it's just, I mean, there's, there's no way that any other song will top that as far as sentimental value for me, I don't think. So that like that surpasses puppies and uh, having a guitar because right. can you tell me right. what, what was that like? So Nicole, and I think your wife is awesome, by the way, she, um, tell me about like the first time that you shared with her that that was that song and that it was about you like what when was the first time that she came oh to man it was it was total baller move for sure i'm not, <laughs> not much of a ladies man but i was pretty proud of this one so i had written it maybe two days before she was living in east nashville not east nashville she was living in uh like 12 south area at that time and um and you guys was, met at a, at a festival, right? I was, was looking at Massey because I was going to be like, what part of town is over there? But I, then I remembered. So she was living over in 12 South. And uh, she actually, I, she was like, hey, come over. And so one of, her, one of her friends was over there. And so I was like, well, this is perfect because if I play it while the friend is over, there's no way the friend is going to not think this is the sweetest thing that anyone's ever done for someone. <laughs> So I played the song when the friend was over there. Of course, her friend was like, oh, my God, so sweet and everything. And, you know, I had told her before, I was like, hey, I wrote this song about you and played it for her on this. I like I bought her this little Victrola had, record player. You had known her for how long at that point? Um, Probably like three, four months. Nice. So it wasn't like creepy. It wasn't like, hey. I know that. I wrote this song about you. <laughs> I think it's really it, sweet. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. You know. it definitely been on. Okay. It wasn't like creep level for sure, but, <laughs> no, I'm not saying but it, it worked true. out. It worked out. So probably that, that, that would be my answer. Well, wait, wait. So what was her reaction? Oh, she loved it. You know, I mean, she loved it and she's, um, you know, she always, she always deflects the attention in that, in that sense, you know, uh, which I get, if someone played me a song about me, I would be probably pretty uncomfortable about it. So I get it. You know, she's not like, Oh my God, this song's about me. And you know, she's not like showy, I guess with that, with that. Yeah. Kind of no, that's an awesome story. Keekly, do you have a baller move that you can share with us? No, no, I don't, I, nothing like that. No, I don't have a ball moves <laughs> like that. No, nothing, nothing quite like that. I and mean, then maybe I need to pick, start picking a guitar or something. Dude, I'll ghostwrite you one, dude. What's that? I'll ghostwrite you a song and then just, I'll send it to you. Yeah, and everyone will think I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs>